Okay, Sue and Kelly. This particular basement window, we, can all, we all know and we can see there's efflorescence, right? Under the window, up high, goes down and whatever, about halfway. Um, so water, moisture, maybe not enough water to soak the floor. No, maybe not. But enough moisture, water's been getting in, and the salts. And the main reason, if, if not the only reason, is what I showed you on the other video. Yep, the uh, deteriorated uh, joints on the sides. Now there might also, there could be a gap under the ledge on the outside. We see that a lot. And again, when we see that, we see stuff like this on the inside. Or sometimes a smaller, bigger, bigger puddle on the floor. This back corner where all the pool equipment stuff is, I just moved a little bit of dirt. It's all I did. Actually, I got, I got hooked on that little fence thing there. Uh, anyway, same kind of, sort of, type of, uh, you know, paint peeling, efflorescence, discolorment on the wall. Only here it goes down lower. And we look up higher, you know, it's been, so the problems, uh, if you will, the efflorescence uh, was painted over. And in my opinion, and in fact, there's no doubt that there's a crack here, but you don't see it on the inside, right? And there's a hole in the bricks. You're not going to see any, often you're not going to see this stuff when you look at the inside. It's what's on the outside that matters. What's open on the outside. Yep. And then structurally, these wall, I mean, structurally, this is pretty darn good. Uh, one more thing. This is a long, long wall. Pretty deep, too. It's about whatever, seven deep. The wall. So the longer the wall, the deeper the wall, the more soil, lateral soil pressure it has to withstand. The weight. So structurally, this is pretty good. The only thing I see that looks to me like it was doctored before is this particular mortar joint. Maybe it wasn't. I'm just saying it looks like it. We often see that. And then somebody tuck points, you know, a crack that might have been here or was here, and then they paint over it. Okay? Just so you know. But structurally, you know, sometimes, pretty often, we see the bottom blocks all messed up, pushed in, deteriorated. You know, yours pretty good. Same thing in there. I looked uh, pretty much all over. So, just so you know, okay, and, uh, I mean, I don't see too, really too much of a problem over here. The only other things where water could get first get into the hollow blocks, the cores, is around on the outside of these pipes, on the outside. And of course, you got, what, one or two more down there that go through the wall, below ground, right? And so, that's what I'm saying, that's how water gets in. Stays inside the blocks, drops down through the lower blocks. I'm just saying, it, we see it often come in on the outside of the wall, through and around little gaps, crevices here, around the pipe. The water stays inside the wall, drops down through the lower blocks, and it comes out where the bottom of the wall and the floor meet. And sometimes that water moisture can get under the floor tiles and loosen up the floor tiles. I'm just saying. So... But I say again, structurally, these walls are in pretty darn good shape for the age of the house. Yeah.